Late one Wednesday evening, on the bustling Lonsdale Street in Canberra, a peculiar scene involving Joyce unfolded. Caught on camera, Joyce was found sprawled on a footpath, unleashing a stream of expletives into his cell phone. The footage, initially released by Daily Mail Australia, sparked a storm of varied responses from both his party members and the public. Joyce, in his defence, claimed he had been in conversation with his spouse, Vicky Campion. During the call, he slipped off a planter box, resulting in unexpected pain and consequently the profanity. His bewilderment and subsequent colourful language were a direct result of the pain he was experiencing. The unaware Joyce ruefully acknowledged two distinct gatherings at the Parliament House that very evening. Michael McCormack, a prior Deputy Prime Minister, raised questions over the bystander's action, who chose to film rather than offer aid. Witnesses reported seeing Joyce at two functions at Parliament House that night. Michael McCormack, another former Deputy Prime Minister, voiced his concerns about the lack of assistance offered to Joyce, questioning the actions of the person filming instead of helping. Responses varied. Queensland Nationals MP Keith Pitt declined to comment, but a secretive Nationals MP berated Joyce, branding his conduct utter folly. The MP noted that politicians lose some freedoms in public life. Joyce's partner, Vicky Campion, emphasised the importance of aid over recording, citing an instance where Joyce lent a hand. Nationals Deputy Perrin Davey echoed these sentiments, relieved that Joyce was unharmed. This controversial incident has stirred a worldwide debate on the privacy rights of public figures, the role of bystanders, and the influence of modern technology on societal norms. The case has opened a Pandora's box, leading to a clash of opinions from different sides of society. Some argue that public figures have willingly put themselves under public scrutiny, while others suggest that even they deserve a certain degree of privacy. Further, the role of bystanders and the ethical implications of their actions have been brought into question. Modern technology, with its ability to put anyone under the spotlight instantly, has added fuel to this debate. As the dust settles, one thing remains clear. The balance between public interest and personal privacy continues to be a fine line to tread. Jump.